go. Streaming from South Africa to the world. To the world. This is the Stonks Go Moon podcast. What just happened? We break it down so you don't have to. Welcome everyone to the Stonks Go Moon podcast. My guest today, Mitya Gorakevsky, co-founder and CEO of Gosh. Welcome to the pod. Thank you. How are you, sir? I love your background. We'll dive into that big figure I see at the back. Is it 500? If you move a little bit to your left or your right, it's other one. <laughs> it's 500. <laughs> it's not $500. It's $500. There are some, some zeros. There. Yeah, I don't know how far that goes. Yeah, I, I don't know how far that goes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little plus side. We'll get into why that figure is so big in a moment. But for those that don't know, uh, you were the CTO of TAN, uh, uh, am I right? TAN Labs, yeah, the company Labs. who did uh, Rust implementation of TAN protocol. I mean, Rust is like OG blockchain language. Everyone's still trying to get uh, Rust developers and stuff. So why, why, my question, my first of all is, why leave Tan to do your own thing? It might seem a bit like a like a stupid question, but I mean, Tan is this huge protocol. It's established, got a community. Why leave and do your own thing? Um, because at first, I did the I did some project um, which needed to be scalable, kind of needed a scalable blockchain, and it didn't scale. So. Mm. There was uh, simply no protocol at the moment that can scale, really. Like even Ton has limitations. Yeah, it doesn't matter you what would, you take. Solana, you would know, you would know because you helped build it. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you see, okay, so no, no, no lim- limitations, can't scale, I need to sort of do my own thing. And then you built what is called Akinaki. Right, that's right. So what, when you set out to build it, what did you s- tell yourself, what, did, what do I need to do differently? Yeah, sure. So there are two things. Mm. Like it needs like when we talk about scalability is basically how many like transactions you can do simultaneously. Mm. But the mo- but the very important also part of that is all of them need to be kind of fast, which we call fast finality. Mm-hmm. And so when you start doing transaction, you need to end doing the transaction hopefully like within a second because that's what really uh people expect. Because mm-hmm. when you go to like, I don't know, Facebook, for example, I don't know if you go there, but no. like, and you scroll and you scroll or you post something, Twitter, okay, whatever. X. Yes, yes. Okay, let's okay so you want to post something on the X and, uh, and you do that, you hit the button, you don't wait, like you, you don't expect to wait more than a second. If you wait more than a second, you kind of feel it. You feel something yes. is wrong. Yes. And so if we want a responsive system, right, then it needs to be really, really fast. And it simply doesn't exist. You can have one of these, one of two. You can have fast, like in Solana. Yeah. But then you have problem with scalability. Okay. How do you fix that? In sort of in by new terms. By, by new consensus protocol. That's that's hard to do in Lemon terms. But basically, okay. like it's this all these nodes in the network need to agree on the common state, a common thing, right? Uh-huh. Among them. How fast they do that determined by how many messages they need to send to each other to agree. Okay. And the lowest you can do is two. You mm. send and you receive the response. Like it's in interactive protocol, that's the lowest denominator. So two is the lowest number. Um, and there is no consensus protocol that can do that. Actually, theoretically, you actually cannot do that in a consensus protocol which 100% correct. Okay. 100% correct, meaning like deterministic. Yes, 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 correct. yes, yes, yes. But you can do that in a probabilistic way. And the way to do that, kind of, we, in, we invented, which is called Akinaki Consensus. It's a probabilistic consensus protocol, but the probability of the attack is very, very low. Okay. How low? It's like extremely low. Well, it can actually, you can change it by parameters in the network, but you can go as low. Okay. When we say deterministic protocols, mm. 
right? 100% correct, we say. Yes. But there is a problem because we still use cryptography, right? We still mm -hmm. use the sign on the blockchain. We still use cryptography. Cryptography by nature is probabilistic always. Yes. There is no deterministic uh, cryptography. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter that your protocol is deterministic while your cryptography is still probabilistic. So what? why it does matter? That what does matter is how how pro probabilistic, how the probable is the attack? Mm -hmm. If it's very, very unprobable, like in most cryptography, yes, that we use today, okay, in modern cryptography, yeah, more modern, yeah, um, yeah. So, so if you're on par with your cryptography, then why does it matter it's, if it's probabilistic or not? Mm, interesting. How does your experience um, differ from being CTO of Don Labs? and being CEO of Gosh, how how is your day-to-day -day different? How is your mindset different? Well, I have more responsibilities. Because, because like, it's not only, I, ma I don't only manage, like, develop, we don't only need to do the product, but we also need to market that product. We need to go to market. We need to, like, talk to people and all of that stuff. And the partners Was and that so something that you prepared yourself mentally for before leaving Tan, or was it sort of... Feeling it's your not way. my first time, I would say. Okay, so so it's not your first rodeo. Exactly. Okay, so you you've learned from past experiences, basically. That's battle hardened and battle tested to get you to this point. Yes. Okay, well that's cool. Um, talk to me about that big figure behind you um, and what does this signify? Um, we see Poppet Games. Um, and yeah. that sort of, is that the first project that you are launching on Akinaki? Yes, it actually, it launches even before the Akinaki launches. Ooh. Like Akinaki mainnet is not live yet, okay. but we said while we're waiting actually now for a community of validators to organize themselves and kind of run the network, mm -hmm. uh, while we're waiting, we said uh, we have a community already um, of like, I think around seven, uh, six million, six million people um, wow. which joined. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get them? How did you get six million people? Because about seven, eight months ago, we released uh, a, a Telegram mini app. Oh, okay. And we, and we said a very simple thing: you will help when the blockchain will start. You will play a game, and by moving fingers across the screen, we will take this entropy, generate some cryptography, and you will help us secure the network. And by doing that, we, so it will allow us to pay you block rewards, or parts of the block rewards. So actually, 22.5% of the network block rewards mm -hmm. are going to the, we call them verifiers, basically the, the people yes. who take mobile phone and play the game. Okay. So what is the game? All right, exactly. So so we promised the game okay. and now we, re we release it. So before we launch it on the main net, mm. we said, let's run a test. And how we run the test? Well, let's create a tournament to kind of uh, competitive playing that game. Okay. So we will release the game. It will run on a private version of the blockchain before, before the tournament purpose. Mm -hmm. Right, and we, we invite players to play, and we give them prizes like a normal esport tournament to play for. Yeah. So we thought, what would be the figure? We said, like, we need a, like, what kind of prizes we want to give. So a we wanted impact. to give. You need to make cash. make a big impact. Impact. You can't make it make cash. Much. We wanted to be to give them some additional prizes like mm -hmm. uh, nodes, cores, we call them, uh, and stuff like that. So in total, it's actually more than five hundred thousand. And not all the prices we, already, we we kind of announced yet. So there will be some more. We announced five hundred thousand, but there will be more prices as we go on. Is it a what kind of game is it? Is it a, a card game? Is it RPG? What can, can you tell me what it is? Sure. Okay. So it will be released on mobile platforms and on Steam. Okay. So you can play on Steam. You won't be able to verify blockchain on Steam. Yes. Right? You won't be able to do that, but yes. you can do that using mobile. Uh, it's it's written in Unity. Okay. So it's a three three day game, okay. and it's a card game. It's a card okay. game, but not uh, like the the another copy of uh, Hearthstone and stuff like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, it's not. It's it's more actually. It's like closer to Balatro. If you 
Okay. I I read something in my crypt notes that said um, the game is Turing complete. So oh, yeah. to me, that That's doesn't make part. that doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Uh, but I'm keen to hear you explain what exactly that means. Yeah, it's 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 kind of when I thought like how we do that. Yeah. Um, the card game, um, it, actually, Magic the Gathering. Yes. It's accident, accidentally Turing complete. Okay. There is a, there, there is a scientific paper which says in under certain conditions you can. Uh, take a certain like a deck in, mm. in in magic, and this deck will be Turing complete. Turing complete that means that you basically can program okay, so lame, lame terms. You can yes. basically take take the cards and by modifying the state, you can program anything you want. Okay, in just really lame terms. Okay. All right. Okay. So I and I thought because the of nature of the game, it's kind of mathematical game underneath. Like mm -hmm. you, 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 be, you build, you build your deck. You play the game, and then you kind of in Balatro, you, you, you uh, count the points. And the, the way you count the points, there are different ways to count your points and, and modify this counting. Right? Okay. That's what Balatro does with the jokers. Yes. So mechanics is a little bit similar in that respect. So, so there is a there is a there is mathematical cycle that goes all the time. And this, when you take these modifiers, you actually can create a set of modifiers that will act like a program like basically you can program with yes. this modifiers yes. and if you do that turing complete basically you follow certain rules that there are rules that makes a, 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 a for example a language turing complete so if you okay. if you follow certain rules you can make any set of these modifiers actually turing complete okay. so in theory you can create any you can kind of program any type of program using these modifiers, using these cards, basically. So you can take the cards, mm -hmm. and in theory, like I can prove you that if you take these cards, you can program anything. Mm. Mm. I, I follow you. Um, how many players are you aiming to sort of um, on board in this game? Is there any figure that you guys have in mind or you're hoping for to, to attract? Yes, for the tournament, we kind of think about million participants. A million playing at the same time. Well, it, or how it, does that it, work? Well, of course, like oh, they can theoretically play at the same time, <clears> but <throat> because we also want to make it uh, like a tournament that we can we can you know stream. Yes, yes, I wanted to ask yeah about that component. Uh, yeah, it's too many too many people playing. Like you, you won't follow. You cannot follow a million. Yes, people. come on, that's just yes. insane. Right, so so it it will be separated. Like we'll take groups of people in kind of um, in 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 kind of matches. It will be still big. Like yeah. you will have like thousand people playing it and and simultaneously at the same time. But <laughs> I don't I don't re I don't think people that are not into games and esport realize how big these events are becoming. That you're talking about millions of people thousands playing at the same time it's actually quite massive yeah it's 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 pretty big number but if you think about okay web 2 games yes right we saw the numbers and there are, there are millions of simultaneous simultaneously playing yes. games like i don't know world of tanks at some point had a record of like simultaneous players which was i thought i don't remember more than a million okay yeah Do dota I don't know something like that. So, uh -huh. so you can, you can like we we saw these numbers. Yes, right. Yes, it's not. Yes. But of course, when you talk about like blockchain games, and also you have to remember one thing: we don't have any servers. Yes. So basically, the game is running entirely on chain in real time. That's crazy. That's that's actually just madness. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> so um. <laughs> That's to me. That's ridiculous because I'm so used to. Uh, it's this thing is just there. It's up there somewhere, and it's it's basically running itself, and it's generating rev blocks and revenue, and people are sharing in it, and it's crazy. Okay, tell talk to me about how are you going to go about uh, broadcasting this uh, tournament? Yeah, so we are now creating this kind of internal platform uh, mm. where we basically 
um, we take the uh, the streams from the server. We're not taking it from the players because that will be insane. Yeah. So we're taking because we know what they are doing from the server. I mean, from the blockchain, the, the RPC node. Okay. Yeah. Because from something you connect to blockchain with. Yeah. So I can, I can, doing, we yeah. can see right because the transactions are applied. So yes. from these transactions, we can see what players are doing. <laughs> and so we can fit that inside the emulator of their screens, right? Of their gameplay. Yes, yes, like I follow you. That and and emulating what actually they see. So and it's sort can... of so so if I can just relate this back to something that that I understand, it's like when you have a football game, let's say Greece is playing Brazil, whatever, and it's on the football, instead of seeing the game itself, there you see a version where things are like little objects are moving on the screen because you have their data points and you know where the ball is. That's... But because we also but because we also control the interface, we can actually kind of feed you the game. Like imagine that <laughs> if we could artificial intelligence could build those players and you would not distinguish between <laughs> them and the copy, and we would run that copy. That's me. That's <laughs> on me. your machine. Yeah. And you would be yeah. seeing the match because we took all the data points. Because you took all the data exactly. points. What, that's insane. What other have you thought about? What other um, applications that technology could have in the future? Okay, looking past this tournament, what type of stuff do you want to build? What do you want to set up? Well, it, you you can see what we can do. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. So so basically, we we are saying you can do the same. Okay. You can empower your games to do this, or uh -huh. other applications, real time applications that you want. You can kind of empower with this technology and do that crazy stuff that we're doing. It's exactly why we build that, to showcase what actually can be done and how amazing it can be, right? Oh, that's, it's, it's incredibly mind-blowing. Mitya, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, thank you, if the, if the listeners want to go and find out more about Akinaki and um, Puppet Games, and register for the tournament or sign up, where can they do that? Akinaki.com. And if you do popitgames.akinaki.com, you go straight to the tournament. Easy enough for me to all the links Thank you so much for joining me. And to our listeners, peace, love, and prosperity. Shock when I'm underground You folded my pride like a paper note Tucked in a coat that your ex-boy wrote Said love ain't me, but you still took quotes From the mess of a man trying to read footnotes Cut, start, bleep I've been sleeping in the quiet of a question mark I've been leaking little pieces of a softer art I've been keeping all the letters in a weather jar Waiting for the day you say my name like a sudden start Let me be less than the sum of my tension Let me be more than a manic confession Let me be limbs in the lake of your blessing Let me be wrong in the rightest direction Your silence bends like a cello in flame I say your name in a temple of shame If I'm not enough, then reduce me again If I'm not enough, then just use me as rain Touch me where the damage won't shout Believe me where I'm finally drowned Love, the kind that cuts clean The kind that takes time Then rips at the seams Hold me, don't hold me Hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me.